Well, what does the law say about assaulting a police officer? I mean, we know so much about when a police officer assaults a citizen, but what does the law then say about a citizen assaulting a police officer? Um, Claudia, generally, uh, without classifying whether the assault is uh, by the state agent or uh, by a uh, citizen against the state agent. Assault is a criminal offense. Okay. Right? Um, assaulting a person, whether uh, a state agent or otherwise, is a criminal offense. So generally, uh, criminal laws um, have actually criminalized uh, the act of assault. And then, uh, uh, so it doesn't matter whether it was um, on the person of uh, a, a state agent, that's the police, or any security agent at all, or any other citizen. So whether the assault was by um, the state agent against the citizen, or the citizen against the agent. But by the way, we have said in the human rights movement that everybody has a right, including the policeman, mm. including the, 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 the military man, the armed members of the armed forces. All human beings have equal rights. So we have said that the right that they nail to you as a citizen and nails also to the policeman that is interfacing, interacting with you. So mm. if you have a right to life, he does have a right to life. If you have a right to freedom of movement guaranteed, he does have. So if you have a right not to be tortured, then he does have a right not to be tortured. So if you have a right to be treated with dignity, right, then the policeman has a right to be treated, treated with dignity. So uh, to answer straight, assaults of any kind or by anybody is a criminal offense. I do agree with you, but I've, I've, I've heard in certain legal circles, even the police officers, you know, say things like if you touch a policeman, it's, it's uh, you know, they, they, they have this lingua. Uh, if you touch a policeman, you have committed some kind of offense. Um, you know, there's a way you resist arrest as, uh, you know, maybe you, you push them in a particular way. They also say that you have committed a particular offense. And I, I, I think I also saw something okay. like, like that in, in the Police Act. And that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. The, both in the Police Act and the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, and for states that have domesticated the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, making the Administration of Criminal Justice law, mm. there are provisions to the effect that if anyone... Um, uh, obstructs, prevents, or even assaults a policeman on duty is committing an offense. So, but the offense does not uh, um, carry a particular description. Mm. If the offense, uh, if the act is assault, is assault. If the act is, uh, if it leads to death, it's murder. So, even if it was a policeman you killed, it didn't mean a different thing. But it is it, it, meant to protect the such state agents in the course of duty to say that if you obstruct a uh, 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 state agent uh, uh, in the course of carrying out a legitimate duty. Canada, it's important to qualify legitimate duty. Okay. And maybe I should quicken on this because it doesn't mean if it is a policeman and he's, he's clouded or um, is, is, is uh, in his uniform and then with the coat of arms. Because the justification, the reason that you should not assault or, um, if you like, uh, obstruct any state agent is the respect to the coat of arms, which is a symbol of, uh, of, of the country. Mm. Now, it is not the same if that policeman in uniform and bearing the coat of arms, if he doesn't respect it himself and then is indulging in crime then it, it, is, it, it is not excusable, really. So it only mean that if the person is committing a crime because he's in police uniform, then he should be condoned. Then he should be allowed to commit that crime. So even if you say it's in the cause of duty, it should be legitimate duty. And this is very important and very emphatic. I should be quick to make examples. You would not because you see policemen in police uniform, and if they are robbing, then you think you cannot prevent them from robbing. Then they will not be robbing, of course, in the United States because they are in uniform and they are bearing the arms that are assigned to them, then they are in cause of duty. So what amounts to being in the cause of duty, it should be legitimate duty as prescribed by statute.